Hi kids, I was here. I'm here to talk about the adventures of an aluminum can, which I just read. If you want to listen to it again, go for it. If you are ready to uh, think about the story, then continue watching this video. Um, in this video, our aluminum can taught us all about how aluminum is recycled. Aluminum started off in the ground as a rock, and then it was taken to a factory and heated up, made into metal, and it was shipped away and went to a park. And then the girl brought it home, and then it was taken away in the recycling. And it was changed again into a bat, an aluminum bat. Taken to the store and then the boy bought it, took it to a baseball game and used it to win the game. So that's what's happened. What, that's what happened in our story. That was the adventures of our aluminum can. Now in the story, there was characters. There was one main character. A character is a person or an animal that's usually in the story, that talks. Now, in this story, our character was a little different. Who do you think the main character of this story was? Hmm. Who was the main character? Who was telling the story? The aluminum can was our main character. So here on my beautiful chart, I'm going to draw underneath character. I'm going to draw our aluminum can. And I'll put can there. So our character was actually, why don't I put write his whole name, aluminum Can. All right, our character was a can. Oh, I better add some. Oh, he was happy, right? Most of the time. And he had some legs. All right, now, good readers, when they're reading a story, they think about where the story takes place. That's called the setting. Hmm. So think about this story that we just heard. What was the setting in the story? Where did the story take place? Think of where our character was in the story. Now this is tricky because our aluminum can had many adventures in many different places. So our setting was lots of different places. Do you remember where our aluminum can started out? There's a hint here. Look, there's the ground. Aluminum aluminum started out underground in, inside of a rock. So one of the settings in our story was underground in a rock. Put a rock. Inside of a rock or part of a rock. And then our aluminum was taken away to a factory, that's another place that he went. And then after he left the factory, let's see, he was taken to, he was put in a box and then taken to a store. Remember he was taken to the store? He had the fruit inside of him. So why don't I catch up here with our setting. Our setting we have Started out as a rock, then he went to a big factory. We'll put some some smoke. Here's our factory. And then he was in a store. Well, he was in a box. We'll, we'll put a box here. Well, this is really hard to do upside down. There we go. Make my best box. 
And then he was at a park at a baseball game, so I can draw a baseball field. Mm -hmm. All right. He was at a at a baseball field. And then, let's see, what was the next place our, our aluminum went? After the baseball field, he went into the girl's room. Oh, man, I'm speaking of room. I'm running out of room. Hmm. Maybe I could put... Here, he's on their shelf. All right. He's on the... Sh whoops. Sh shelf. He's on the shelf. And, but then the ants, remember the ants were tickling him? So he got taken away to be recycled again. Back to the, back to the factory. And this time, he was turned into a baseball bat. And then the baseball bat was dropped off at the store. And then he was at another baseball field. So he went to two baseball fields. And we can draw a store here. Draw a big store. Let's see, maybe this is Target. That's kind of like Target, right? Or wherever you shop. Store. So there are all the different places our aluminum, piece of aluminum went. So the setting was all over. Usually when we read a story, the setting is one place, like the jungle or um, maybe in the woods, or maybe in a city. But our character traveled all over in this story. All right, and the last thing we we're going to talk about is the sequence. What happens in the story? What happens in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end? So we already looked through this, but I'm just to help you remember... At the beginning, our character was in the in the ground. All right, at the beginning, we'll draw the ground here, maybe some bulldozers. Bulldozers and our, the beginning, our alumina, He's underground. And then he was taken away. Do you remember what he was made to in the middle of the story? There's a good picture of it. He was turned into a can, a can of fruit. So in the middle of the story, here's our aluminum can. And he's fruit. We'll put a, try to make a teeny tiny strawberry. Let's see if I can do it. Fruit. He was a can of fruit. And did he stay a can of fruit the rest of the time? No, something happened. He got, after the fruit was eaten, he got recycled and taken back to the factory where at the end he was turned into a, you see our character on the last page? At the end he is a aluminum bat. Let's see. Pretty good drawn bats. Since I was been obsessed with baseball since I was about five. All right. So at the beginning, here's our alumina. In the middle, he was turned into a can. And at the end, he was turned into an aluminum bat. That is the sequence of our story. Here is our main character. And all the different places, all the settings that he went to. I hope you enjoyed this story. I really loved it. Watch it again if you want. It's a pretty great book. Bye.